Let's go, let's go, let's go, and welcome to the Art of Music Tech Podcast. I'm your host, Fela, and my co-host here, Dennis. Hey, guys, we're back. We're back at the beautiful One of One Studios in Fort Lee, New Jersey, where we do all things podcasting and music recording as well. Uh, today uh, is very cool because um, this will be one of our first um, articles slash uh, podcasts that will be featured with uh, Mix Magazine. Uh, recently, mm-hmm. Pro Sound News um, Magazine combined with Mix Magazine, which I mean, that's been the uh, the quintessential magazine for for audio for me. I mean, since I even wanted to become an audio engineer, um, so that this is very exciting to. And I'll start putting our reviews out with uh, such an established magazine, which, you know, hey, Pro Sound News was around for many, many years. And I'm just glad that we were able to combine. And this is really cool. Uh, So for the first review that we're going to be doing um, under this, uh, we're going to be working. We worked with rather uh, and been um, using the Nugent Audio Producer Bundle. Uh, it's a an award winning uh, mix and mastering suite. Um, so it's great for music and as well as podcasting. Considering that we, um, one of the things in the in the producer bundle plugin pack that they have is uh, uh, a master check plugin, which is great because you'll see all the different. Um, uh, streaming platforms and all of these platforms, YouTube, Pandora, Spotify, they all have their own uh, audio uh, settings that work best. And so um, this is great for, you know, what we do and as well as, what you know, my, my business partner, Dennis, he does a lot of uh, music as well. So, you know, you'll you'll get both both perspectives in this particular review Mm -hmm. um so first up what we what i was talking about earlier actually is the master check plugin under the nugent producer bundle um again this is great because you you uh you get a true peak meter uh you can actually choose the setting for the major streaming platform that uh that you're working with to you know, send music to or a podcast to, whether that's Spotify, Apple. I mean, they they just have a bunch of different um, settings so that you can um, adjust your limiter or whatever that you have going on on that master bus uh, uh, to what the end user is going to end up um, using. What did you think about it, Dennis? Uh, yeah, that's the. Uh essential plugin for either mixing or mastering a post-production because you need to know your loudness before you print the final audio whether you go to yeah youtube or pandora and mm-hmm. this particular one gives you so many different options as far as uh uh the the cool option that i like is the monitor when you engage monitor uh, uh button pretty much right it'll tell you the actual sound of the file, how it's going to sound after you print it out already. So you can Uh listen to the audio in real time, whether you choose YouTube or Spotify, Pandora or NBC, uh, HBO, Netflix, whatever streaming platform you use, use it for. That's what I like about it. And also uh, lofts, of course, that's, you know, very important for for mastering because you need to know how loud your mixes are. And if it's too loud and you, for example, pick YouTube, then it'll tell you that you need to bring it down or raise it, the volume up, Mm -hmm. uh, so far, so on. Yeah, it gives you the the notes on how much to bring it down. And yeah, like you said, hearing it real time uh, saves you the printing and then listening to it later, you know, you get to hear it from the beginning. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, okay, let me tweak this. So, again, it gives you back some time on your mixing. 
Uh, so that that um, that's a major tool to just because I think you know every, every engineer is having to do several different <laughs> um, uploads and to just the you know to quickly go through those. Woo, that that's a uh, that's an amazing tool and uh, definitely worth checking out. Um, no matter whether you're in podcasting or music again, um, they also have. Uh, the next plugin we'll get into in the bundle is the ISL2 True Peak Limiter. Um, so this is great to use with the Master Check plugin. <laughs> so mm-hmm. you can uh, adjust your limiting to what's needed for you know that particular platform, mm-hmm. and uh, make your adjustments there if you're pretty much you know finished with your mix and you know you're just trying to get it in the nice to proper loudness yeah proper loudness this is a a great finisher to you know whatever you're doing and it sounds amazing actually uh compared to other limiters are on the market uh this sounds crystal clear Mm -hmm. so it doesn't produce extra artifacts Mm -hmm. that you would hear with other plugins which is i mean which is great. Yeah. You, you know, we're big on that. The natural sound of mm-hmm. what's going on already. Mm-hmm. Uh, not adding any color. And, uh, yeah, gain reduction. Uh, yeah, just a great, great overall, you know, stack of what you're using with the, mm-hmm. the, the master yeah, check. Uh, look ahead option. It has release, auto release, or you can uh, type in your own. It has input gain. Uh, window and yeah so pretty much a, a basic limiter but sounding great with i don't know a, a lot of different tweaks and options that you may not see with other limiters but this one is also a mastering limiter which would use for just mastering music or anything mastering yeah uh then next in the uh the the plug-in bundle uh the producer bundle from new gen audio uh the mono filter uh, which the mono filter um uh, is amazing for bass management um mm-hmm. uh you know really taking that overall because you would put this on like either a master or a bus um, of your low end stuff and being able to manage it you know really getting that phase tightened up uh, and really turning that bass into a mono signal instead mm-hmm. of um, the stereo that it may yeah, be stereo in. stereo bass is a little bit too much. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's hard to control. Um, and that's what the mono filter helps you out with, with in, as far as the bass management, the, the size of it, the image width, uh, phase control. Uh, just a really cool plug-in to help you finish a mix mm-hmm. really i mean this is this is i mean you know going back to it being an award-winning um mix and master um suite of you know bundle um this is exactly what you need those extra bits of polishing and just really opening up your mix i, I found the, the mm-hmm. mono filter and why would you need great. bass in stereo anyway yeah everything below 120 hertz or 150 hertz 100 hertz how, however you hear it or see it, you don't need that to be in both speakers. Just dead center is, is much better. And again, yeah, uh, the, the good point from uh, other people I've heard is, uh, yeah, if you listen on one speaker, if you don't have a, a set of stereo speakers or you only got one, you need to be able mm-hmm. to identify the bass in that one speaker or on your phone or in mm-hmm. your car stereo, which this plugin helps a lot and it also has a phase control so there is natural or linear phase mm-hmm. or auto button so you can if you're f- some things you know could be out of phase and then you can just test uh, in linear phase or auto phase that low end and see if it you know if it helps you tighten up yeah 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 um Stellar plug-in. Mm-hmm. Re- really, you can do a lot. Um, and, I mean, you know, it doesn't have to just be on the bass. It can be on whatever. I mean, it 
you could do it in, oh, individually yeah. on a synth and make it just sound crazy. So mm -hmm. um, that's a really cool one to play with overall, um, especially with music. I don't know. You wouldn't per se need this with a uh, <laughs> with Pop the podcast, podcast no. uh, but this is fantastic fun for you audio engi engineers out there, you know, to really come up with other sounds. Um, and then next in the bundle uh, is the... SEQ stereo, um, which this is an interesting one. You, you can match your EQ um, with another EQ. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a little confusing, but the end results were pretty cool. Um, like what actual uh, the EQ that you were your source produced mm -hmm. and then you can match it with what it should have been or like well, it's if like you record a, you can switch it up your eq and get the merry in between of what yeah. what you would like to have let's say you recorded vocals with two different mics and then you're trying to match them now yeah like if in the put them in the same frequency range mm -hmm. so with this particular plugin you can do the trick and m match it I've never tried it before, but that's what it's for. I mean, on top of other things it does. Yeah. It yeah. also comes with this function. Yeah. Uh, and you, you know, very flexible. You can choose presets. You can do your own thing, of course. Mm -hmm. um, really cool to play around with. Um, yeah, I guess with like snare sounds and stuff and mm -hmm. yeah, it, it would definitely, this is more of a, a music style. <laughs> and uh, mastering uh, equalizer too. This is yeah, this overall, is pretty, yeah, getting a good a sound. A pristine EQ and it's super flexible. You can, you can bend it however you want, uh, do whatever you want with it. Uh, of course, phase help if mm -hmm. something's out of phase, you're trying to tighten up. You can do that. Yeah, I think that's the other thing. It helps with the phase. You know, it, it does this match with no phase issue, which mm -hmm. is always an issue if you like, you know, double micing anything. You know, you uh, always have yeah. to be aware of uh, a the lot phase of times. A lot of times when we uh, when we record at different studios, the actual speakers out of phase. So then, uh, how do you hear the recording if your speakers the out of phase out of phase, and then you you lost. <laughs> <laughs> And the, uh, yeah, when when the playback is you know not tight enough, and then you bring the files back to your studio or to your you know, uh, well, whatever you're you do. Used yeah, to yeah, we used to mixing and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, and then you, you, like, you it sounds crazy. Yeah, it sounds crazy. <laughs> yeah, so. so yeah, th this could you know possibly help out with yeah, because you, you could do some phase flipping and all types of interesting things in this particular plugin. So. Um, yeah, this one is a nice one to, to just play with. This mm -hmm. is a nice, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, this, this is a cool, cool plug-in though. Um, all right, next in the, uh, producer bundle from Nugent Audio, uh, we have the Stereoizer 3, uh, which this is dope because it gives you, um, stereo imaging from a mono source. Mm -hmm. And you can create basically where your audio is going in the stereo uh, realm mm -hmm. and as wide as you want it to go or, you know, as center as you want it to go. So, yeah, this is this is pretty cool. Again, this is more of a music plug-in. Um, unless you're doing some soundscape stuff for podcasting, a very True. heavily audio produced thing. Yeah, exactly. Uh, post audio for for uh, for video as well um, gives you some nice um, imaging. Just, just yeah. imaging and yeah, yeah, very, very cool. And it also lets you uh, control a frequency content. So let's say if you don't want anything below like 100 200 300 hertz in stereo but the rest you want in stereo and wider you can also control the frequency yeah content which is which is great let's say i want my orchestras 
super wide, but I don't need any bass mm -hmm. going super wide. So I can actually control that with this plugin. Yeah, which can, you know, when you don't have control over that low end, it can give you a very muddy sounding mix. That's usually You'll probably high issue. pass filter, but yeah. this is a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah, because you're placing it mm -hmm. where you want to mm -hmm. with the Stereolizer 3. So, um, yeah, very, very interesting um, plug in. And as again, well. I, I've noticed with Nugent, they don't add any artifacts or any coloration, anything extra to your source, which, mm -hmm. um, which is great. Yeah. You're yeah. not destroying or adding anything. Else. Unless you want to add something, then yeah, do that. Exactly. Um, then the next uh, plug-in in the bundle is the Stereo Placer 3, which um, with the Stereoizer, it actually lets you make the image of, of, the, of the source. With the Stereo Placer, you're getting to choose, choose the frequencies you want. And direction. And direction, well, it goes panorama right. wise, uh, without affecting other regions of audio. Mm -hmm. And again, that that's basically saying uh, no extra noise. Just <laughs> you mm -hmm. know exactly what we were saying earlier. They have a good uh, a good history of not adding stuff to it, but just mm -hmm. letting your natural mix of what you're doing just happen but you know really taking out the frequencies or adding frequencies that and you, placing you want stereo and, instrument yeah i mean it, it's pretty trippy how wide <laughs> you can take these sounds and today's music sounds much wider than music from oh, 50s yeah. or 60s of course yeah i mean because you have things like this that lets you just place Audio and like, it's not even panning hard left, hard right. Yeah, that's, it's that's, past that. Yeah, I mean, you this, give a direction to the sound and how, and, and the frequency of and the, the sound. Frequency, yep. I mean, it's literally what it's saying. The stereo placer is just like, oh, I want that 2K here, but I want the 8K over here on the mm -hmm. left, but I put the 2K on the right. Like it, it's just and also the harmonics. And so to that particular boost or you do on on your left speaker, you can also add harmonics. So kind of saturate that particular frequency and that particular uh, direction mm -hmm. given. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this plug-in, yeah, th this can go wherever you want to with mm -hmm. this. This is, <laughs> yeah. this is another good, like, fun Creative. one for producers. This mm -hmm. this goes back to the producer pack. And, and essentially, yeah, the, the two stereo... You know, centric uh, plugins. Those of you know, more for the creatives. You know, um, mm -hmm. re really, really cool thing to to mess with. Uh, and then we have a Sig Mod plugin, That's which one, is that next. one is deep. Yeah, that one has like a, a lot of possibilities <laughs> with. How you can um, customize basically your your audio and, and you know how how it's gonna how the crossover the you know mid side chain compression um, mm -hmm. the other thing you can you can use VST threes yeah. you know even if your system doesn't let you this particular Logic would not yeah particular plugin lets you use. Those VST three. There are now. a lot of free VST instruments online. So mm -hmm. download that, insert it, and let it ride. Yeah, yeah. Sigmod, I uh, just helps you do so many things. And as an audio engineer, yeah, this is like a really cool one because you know you can do multi band, band compression and mid mid side chain and just separating all of that on. Your master bus, or, or I guess your individual you know, group, yeah, yeah groups, or individual, yeah, yeah. If yeah. You, you, let's say you group guitars, and you want to separate low, low end, mid range, and the top end, and then add a lot of things on top of it. Mm -hmm. You can do that within this one plugin. Yeah, the Sigmod just uh, really lets you 
go nuts on <laughs> I need to spend some hours with this plugin to really yeah, put yeah. it to use. But I mean, it looks it looks pretty cool. Yeah, this one again, this is more for your mu- music side people, producers. Um, if you really want to go deep on some sounds and I mean, you know, hey, you'll end up using probably those sounds over and over again. I mean, cuz it's such mm-hmm. you, you're going to have such a unique uh, oh, yeah, sound this- once you go through all these different customizable um, signature what they, they call it signal architecture customize yep. your signal architecture like literally yeah there's, it's really customizable I mean just there's no end like there, there's uh, the whole bundle is so different that I, I don't see anybody else is doing you know so many different things within you know few plugins i mean what seven or eight plugins yeah but you can do cra- uh, some crazy things with it yeah you know create your own presets of course you know they have presets it's it's wow yeah it's wherever you want your mind to go with this one <laughs> um and last but not least last but not least we have the visualizer 2 uh, from the Nugent Audio Producer Bundle. Uh, the visualizer lets you... Ju- exactly what the name says. Visualize... Your audio. <laughs> all, all the parts of your audio, whether it's the pe- spectrum an- analysis, peak hold, stereo spectrogram, vector scope, stereo bias meter. I mean, it's just... Everything that you want to keep your eye on to make sure that, you know, your phasing is right and, Mm -hmm. you know, that the stereo is tight and seeing what's going on on every aspect visually with your audio source. Uh, This is this is next level. I I mean, mean, all the fact that it's one you could put all of that in one plugin window. page window. One you don't window have to have go. 15 pages open to see all of this at one time. Mm-hmm. Um, amazing. I mean, because that's what we're constantly looking at as engineers when you're mixing. Am I getting to, you know, how much headroom do I have before I can, you know, mm-hmm. really mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's push, what it's for. you know, my and mix. Your stereo image, uh, your peaks. This plugin actually comes standalone mode too, so you can use it in just without any DAW yep. on your computer, which is I mean, which is cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Analyze your audio, see where you're at before you print. Mm-hmm. And then Again, people, I mean, all of all of these plugins just help you save time, <laughs> mm-hmm. and that's always a big. A big thing for us and being a small company and just trying to, you know, we're growing, but, you know, the tools to help you grow and uh, do everything quicker. That's always our on our agenda um, to help with growth. And, you know, we're, we're now hiring, you know, we've hired editors and stuff for us and you know passing it on like okay you know this will help you out with that and you know as you know we grow we're we're happy to come across you know things like Nugent Audio uh and I really think this will be great um for podcast producers or audio engineers whether you're mixing music or you know your producer audio engineer and does both I mean this is yeah, <laughs> this is uh, this is the truth, uh, especially if you're from like mid level. You've been doing it a while. I don't think I would suggest this to anybody that's like new to audio because it's you know it, it's a little intense. Um, but if you've been doing it a few years and you know you really want to take your sound to another level and get higher client, you know, higher paying clients and you really need to buckle down on getting clean audio and um, having the tools to get that. And yeah, the Nugent Audio, to me, you know, for us and even for what we do, we do podcasting and music. um, This is really 
a great plug-in, you know, I mean, bundle. Wow. I, I really, I can't, and I can't complain on any nope. of the sounds that I heard coming out of this. And um, the visualizer makes sense to your eye and like what we're looking for mm-hmm. as audio engineers and uh, really letting you tweak what you want to hear and visual visually seeing it. I mean, you still always must trust your ears first. First um, things first. But <laughs> first things first. But um, but the combination of of all of these tools to just get you to that uh, mm-hmm. uh, industry standard. This, yeah, this is the industry standard. Yeah, for bundle. yeah for I mean, like you said, you could even do it for post production for video, you know, uh, post production audio rather for video. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and wherever you go, there are standards. There is a loudness standard for platforms. YouTube, you can go any louder than negative fourteen loves. Even if you're trying to push it harder, YouTube is going to bring it down to negative fourteen. So. But with this particular bundle, you know, go. You don't have to go anywhere else. Just set it up on your uh, stereo bus. Uh, make sure your outputs are, you know, not distorting. Your loudness is in front of you. You visualize it. You listen to it. You do whatever you want to do. And the price on this thing is four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. Yep. Which is so you four, get eight plugins. Yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> uh, exactly. I, I, it's worth it. <laughs> I mean, again, uh, other other companies charge thousand dollar plus for something like that. Yeah, yeah, that as well. When you start doing your research on the the uh, the competitors out there, this this is gonna show up pretty high. Um. And yeah, you know, Nugent is re- really, uh, really killing the game with this one, and um, I'm so happy that we had a chance to get our hands on it, and it opened our eyes to more stuff that's out there and uh, more great audio plugins that are just really doing what we need them to do, which is not give us color, sound great. Um, and you know we'll happily use this with our, you know with our clients um, all day, which we're already doing. So oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> shout out to Nugent. Um, and yeah, a- any more closing words on that one? Uh, the one thing I want to add there from UK, and yeah, they're doing mm-hmm. a great job. UK based company, and um, yeah. We're 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 excited to continue to use these and um hey, check it out. If you you know, you're you're in you're an audio engineer, producer, you wanna start really polishing and really, you know, taking your mixes um to another level cause consistency <laughs> with this and, and again, you know, you have with the master check, you know, everything is in there. You know, the the modes that you need to, you know, print your audio to, you know, the specs, already there um, and, and being able to tweak it to. So, uh, just a great overall plug-in to really make your mix shine, your mix master shine. Um, and True. We highly recommend it. So, all right. I believe that's it for this episode of the Art of Music Tech podcast from our One of One Productions uh, studio in Fort Lee. Uh, thanks to our intern, Jana, for Jana. recording Let's our, go. this episode. And um, Oh, and please check us out on oneofoneproductions.com. You know, we're selling gear. So even this microphone we're selling. So mm-hmm. <laughs> down to our audio kits um, that you can see on our website as well. Watch the commercial. Um, but we're also dealers for sure. Sennheiser, uh, Focusrite, all, all the big time companies. Um, we're, we're selling um, audio gear uh, to help you take, you know, your, your product, your music 
audio products to the next level and you know you can give us a call and we'll you know help you out on how to use it and all that sort of thing so uh check us out at one of one productions.com uh with that being said mm-hmm. uh that's all from dennis yep and myself let's go let's go